Well, hello and welcome to I Love Gay Today. And this is a part of our series uh, we're doing in conjunction with CineQuest, and we're interviewing a variety of different uh, uh, filmmakers on some of their uh, some of the films that they've created that are going to be part of the CineQuest Film Festival in San Jose, with, I think in two weeks. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> and today we're here with Jacqueline Bethany. How are you, Jacqueline? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Thanks good, for having guys. me. Absolutely, and you're one of uh, one of the filmmakers with a uh, with a film uh, that's part of CineQuest coming up. It's called The Falling World, and uh, yeah, tell us a little bit about that. Well, um, <clears throat> The Falling World was made back in 2020, um, in fall 2020, and um, sort of as the at the height of COVID, actually. But I didn't want that to impact what you're watching. Um, other than it's a, it's a small contained cast and um, place, but it's about a young woman, a law student um, who becomes, who is a first year at a prestigious law school and becomes friends with this sort of enigmatic other um, young woman who's a little bit older than her, Hadley, and sort of she's invited, Hadley invites Lark, the protagonist upstate to her family home in like upstate New York and there Lark learns that a couple of years ago um, another girl disappeared and so that sort of triggers a suspicion and various different events within their network and um yeah 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 but no it's interesting it's uh the the, the notes I took it's a queer mystery thriller and you don't see a lot of yeah, those so. I don't know somebody said that um like <laughs> <laughs> some some article or something but I remember when I was talking about it, one of my favorite movies is The Talented Mr. Ripley. Oh, yes. And yes. I'm always sort of interested in exploring like a female version of like Ripley in a way. I think yeah. that um, this sort of has hints of that with Hadley um, as sort of, I mean, I think Hadley and Lark are like a combination of both like Dickie yeah. and, um, and Ripley in a way. But I don't know. I mean, I think that's sort of one of my favorite genres is like this the like mystery thriller like yeah. classic almost like Hitchcockian where it's not quite horror but like it could maybe be horror yeah. um so yeah and I think that the relationship between the two women at the center sort of developed um it, I think originally in the script there was not I mean, they barely, they don't touch, there's not a lot of physical contact between them. I think that they kiss mm -hmm. once. And I thought, I thought that their sort of dynamic and their sort of obsession with, with each other was more sort of a, a, a face value or even like they were kind of scared to cross that line. And when they yeah. do, it just becomes more dangerous. So I, I don't know. I thought like exploring the psychological, the psychological, the psychology <laughs> behind that was interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it catches my attention right away. That's one of my favorite movies is the talented Mr. Yeah. Ripley. And uh and uh just knowing that because that's uh that's why I was saying in, in that genre of uh I mean right now everybody's excited that um I think it's on Peacock they have they have horror, just the, I think it's almost comedy horror with they them. And so everybody's talking about that as something. Oh really, yeah. Yeah. So so it comes up, but uh but no, it's interesting. Um one of the things that that I also know, even when you're talking about the comparisons of talented Mr. Ripley your uh your work it, it really often is focuses on kind of a female protagonist in a lot of your stories too yes yes I mean I think that's also because I am a woman director <laughs> but I'm also you know I think when I write and when I am attracted to projects it is uh, it's yeah. something I'm attracted to characters or people that are not um that are different from me but then I'm yeah. that are maybe another part part of my life that I'm interested in exploring that I never really explored. And um, I'm also, you know, interested in mature women, women of all ages. I mean, obviously mm. the last couple of things I've made are young women, but um, I'm in post with a, with a film about a, a, a female professor and then I'm about to do a movie with an all female cast where all the characters are at all different phases of life. Yeah. And I think that's something I'm interested in exploring moving forward. Because I think, you know, in, in Hollywood or in our industry, we're sort of presented with this, like, idealization of a woman and um, how women have been seen through cinema and for so long. And I think yeah. it's our job as, you know, female filmmakers to sort of spin that on its head and make people think about women in new ways. And yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I like that. You've also done um, other work, especially digital, where folks can can see some of your work online. With uh, it was back, but right before the pandemic, with the rehearsal. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, the rehearsal was a really like just it's like the gift that keeps on giving, and um, <laughs> you know, I I did two projects back to back. I I did it right after I graduated AFI in 2018, but we waited to release it the end of 2019, which actually sort of served us in. It, then the pandemic happened, but um, it won an Emmy in 2020, which was amazing for a digital series. Um, and but there were just no the Emmys were on Zoom. <laughs> um, but yeah, again, that that project sort of was a pilot that was set in the New York theater world, and it was split into six sort of smaller episodes, um, kind of like they did with like Quibi or something. But like yeah. it it um, so I ended up just sort of releasing it on the website and then it got picked up by a few platforms but again that sort of explored three different women to or four different women at different like a teenager up to a woman who's almost you know 50 is and then this like the other two characters are sort of in the middle of that figuring themselves out um yeah. so yeah I mean I I loved doing that that project and yeah. It keeps coming up for me. Um, so that's what you want when you make something, you know, you want people yeah. to see it and talk about it. And um, So yeah, it was, it was pretty special because I, I grew up um, going to New York and seeing theater and then living there for, um, you know, nearly a decade and then going back after I moved to LA and kind of having this sort of outsider perspective on it. Yeah. Um, and that's when I wrote it. So. I love that. I wish... Uh, um... I'm I, I'm the opposite of you. I swapped. Uh, we you and I swapped coasts. I'm from <laughs> from LA and, and moved to New York, and now I'm just outside of New York. But uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna uh, be with the Cinequest being in San Jose. I'm gonna miss it this year. But uh, but no, I think it's amazing what you all are doing, and uh, and I'm just I wish you all luck for you know how everything goes with the film festival in a couple of weeks. Yeah, we're we're super excited. I mean, it's been you know a long time coming because I think I got in in twenty I think 2021, yeah. and then the the festival was obviously canceled or pushed. I can't, I can't keep track of all of it, <laughs> but um, so I mean, it's exciting to go, you know, to like a premiere and a world premiere in person. Um, yeah. yeah. So I feel very lucky to be involved. Yeah. Well, I think it's great that you're able to take a few moments of your time and share a bit of your story and also with your movie coming up and, uh, and uh, for everybody who you know has a chance, make sure again, to take a look at the trailer that comes up right after this. And uh, we wish you luck with everything. Yeah, thank you so much. It's also coming out in October, so oh, okay. you'll um, be able to to watch it on your screen at home. It, perfect. Well, <laughs> thanks so much, and we'll talk soon. Thank you. Take care. Investigator Higgins, please. Can I ask who's calling? This is Yohan Bennett. I'm calling about the Jill Bennett case. Hello? Hello, Hadley. Can I ask you something? Margot said it was weird that people were back up here because something happened. Thanks. What exactly happened? Oh, you mean about Jill? Who's Jill? So Jill was our friend. She's more like Hadley's friend. They're really close. She's actually Professor Bennett's sister, so she came to Quincy wanting to be like her hot shot big brother. The last place she was seen was here. It feels like there's a game going on, and everyone else knows the rules, except me. Is it my idea? Is it what? You, you and Jill went frolicking off in the fucking woods. Is it my idea, you crazy little bitch? You're getting in the fucking car. If I let you rope me into this, I should be home. I should be with my kids. Please, stop playing this game I'm not with playing me. a game with you, Jill. I want to tell the truth. They never found her body.